Hey guys, how's it going? Um, so uh, I'm in the studio. I need to be in here today because I need to record a little bit. Um, I'm working with a very, very cool guitar player. Um, his name is Tyrone Sasha, and um, he reached out and he wanted to do a collaboration on something. So um, he's such an amazingly cool guitar player and um, super nice guy as well. So. Uh, I said, yeah, let's do it, let's do it. So he sent me over a track and um, we decided that I was gonna insert a little bit of a rhythm part. So we're gonna document this. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get to see the thought process behind, you know, um, just collaborating with somebody, coming up with parts, you know, which are complementary to what I'm listening to and what my thought process is and stuff like that. So um, down here on Cubase, I have a session loaded up and ready to go and I'm going to grab a guitar and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Yeah, this is such a cool track. By the way, um, if you're not um, subscribed to Tyrone's channel already, I'm going to leave a link somewhere, um, possibly up here <laughs> and in the description below as well. Go and check out his, um, his playing and his channel because he is a superb guitar player and um, this is going to be a lot of fun and we're going to show you basically how we come up with this track and um, you know record it produce it do videos videos of it etc etc Alrighty, let me grab a guitar let me grab a guitar <laughs> let me grab a guitar ec256 i love this guitar this has been such a great guitar um just to play just as a workhorse really because uh, it is tuned to standard I have about three guitars tuned to standard at my whole collection of guitars because I prefer to play it in half step down. Just a quirk of mine. <laughs> Anyways, um, I've kind of figured out a couple of parts for this song, but first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play you what Tyrone sent me, and it's really cool. It just, it's just got a great vibe. So I want you to listen to it first, and um, then I'm going to kind of just play you the parts that I've come up with. So check this out, check this out! No metronome, no metronome! nice and heavy without the metronome eventually <laughs> anyways uh, it's such a cool riff and um, then he actually goes into this part which goes like this Reminds me very much of uh, Tony McAlpine actually. There's something I've heard by um, Tony McAlpine. And the chord voicings that um, Tyrone does is just fantastic. Really, really great. Love it. So, when I was um, listening to this, um, and I listened to it, I don't know, five, six, seven times in a row, I was thinking, I want to create something which is a contrast to what he's doing. You know, if I just play the same thing that he's doing, then I'm not really adding anything to it, you know. So I wanted to kind of add something. And I'd been learning something which was actually um, a little solo thing which uh, Matthias Asato had done. And um, I was watching a lesson online. And um, one of the chords that he played was, it was in a different key, but I've transposed it now into the key of E, which is this song, which is what this song is in. It was a minor nine chord. And um, I came up with the chord in um, the key of E, and it just sounded great. I'm just going guitar into my blue guitar amp one, into Cubase via the direct out, and um, I've got a really cool sound. I'm in the middle position, I've coil split the pickups. Uh, pickups in this guitar are a um, Seymour Duncan RTM, which is a Warren Martini custom shop pickup in the bridge. And the Screaming Demon, George Lynch Screaming Demon in the neck. So literally, this is Rat and Dokken. 
<laughs> this is the rat and dock and guitar <laughs> in combination and I'm using them in combination and it's going to sound nothing like rat or dock and <laughs> anyways the chord actually sounds like this I've got a nice amount of delay and reverb going on as well I'll turn it up so that you can hear a little bit better oh, isn't that so pretty <laughs> And I've got one more layer which I'm going to add to it. But basically, um, what I also wanted to do was I wanted to change the timing because the track is quite progressive. So I kind of figured, you know what, let me do um, three, four timings. So I'm actually doing a one, two, three, one, two, three. And I'm just arpeggiating the chord. something really simple like that because then it contrasts with what he has done and um, I think it will work for the track I'm gonna play it through uh, but before I do that I'm gonna add this layer now one of my favorite plugin companies is sound toys and um, I have their whole pack of um, um, uh, plugins they've got one called crystallizer which sounds like this <laughs> <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> Anyways, it's just adding octaves and delays and etc. etc. So I'm going to play along to the track. I think this is going to sound really great um, on the overall track. I'm just doing the guitars. Uh, just laid down some uh, a drum pattern which I think will work. Going to turn on the metronome. Metronome is important when you're doing stuff like this. I'm just going to press play and uh, let's see how it sounds. <laughs> The reason I really like that is because it's almost like the guitar is dropping out after the heavy kind of verse part, I guess, and then going into this softer part and then the chorus. Now, when I do this for the second time, when I'm, uh, we do the second verse, um, I'm probably going to add another guitar into the background, probably a chuggy one, because um, I want it to sound quite progressive and um, I've got ideas in my head. Ideas in my head <laughs> need to come out on my guitar. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. All right, that part's done. Yay, yay. All right, now there's, uh, I want to add a second part to it. So um, I've already come up with the part. I've already come up with the part. Yeah, already recorded it actually. <laughs> so I'm just playing this back for you. <laughs> So this next part is going to be after the chorus. Uh, again, what I'm going to do is create something which is a contrast now. Tyrone's done a part which is quite heavy and medium paced. So again, I want something contrasting at the moment. So I've got a choice. I can either go quicker, you know, really get the groove on, or um, I can slow it down a little bit. I think for the first verse, I'll slow it down a little bit, um, just so that when I do the next one, um, after the second chorus, then I can speed it up. Two for the price of one. So I was noodling around earlier and I came up with this little riff, which uh, kind of goes something like this. So getting that kind of George Lynchy kind of vibe. And that's what I was shooting for. So uh, I'm gonna play that along to the song and see if it fits. I think it'll make a nice contrast at this point. Let's have a try. <laughs> Thank you. 
love the way that sounds. <laughs> that's cool. I think that's a keeper. All right, so uh, like I said, for the second verse, I was going to just um, do the same thing with the clean guitar part with that um, uh, E minor 9 chord. Um, um, but what I wanted to do was layer it up with another guitar part as well, something to, to heavy it up a little bit, just to give it a different layer. And um, having worked on uh, a couple of prog albums previously, I know that the chuggy stuff over clean stuff sounds really good. So I'm going to draw on that experience. Now, where do I get that from? Probably from listening to bands like Dream Theater. Yeah, I love Dream Theater. Um, they're a great band, they're fantastic musicians. And their songs are so layered up and stuff, and they have these parts where you know you've got the soft and the hard living right next to each other, layered right up. So I'm going to set that up now, and um, I'll have a play around. I'll see what I can come up with in terms of a chuggy little thing. Alrighty, I've got it, and um, I'm going to play it and just play you the chuggy part. It's quite simple. It's just a single string thing most of the way. And it's just to add a heavier layer in the background. So this is going to go over the clean again. That's working as well. So that's just adding a kind of layer on top of that clean guitar part. And what I'm going to do is with my amp one, um, when I record the final take, one side I'm going to record with the classic channel and the other side I'm going to flick over to the modern channel which sounds like this. It's a little bit tighter. Classic channel, modern channel, so it's a little bit more focused, the bass is a little bit more focused on that modern channel. So the contrast between the two channels will kind of just layer it up nicely with my left and right guitars. Almost done with this and I'm almost ready to send it back to him and um, hopefully he'll like it. If he doesn't I'm going to cry, I'm going to cry. Not really. <laughs> and for the ending part, I'm going to keep it the same as that um, part that I did after the first chorus. But I'm going to double the speed. So I'm going to play it like this. I think that's going to really work well for an ending um, for this song. Let's give it a try. I've set up the drums, so let's see how it sounds. You're getting to see the process in real life as I'm doing it, kind of. I came in early for that last stab. <laughs> I'll get it right. When I record it, I will get it right. It will sound awesome. I like that part. I'm going to play it again. Let's see if I can get the ending completely right. <laughs>
I'm not going to put that at the end. <laughs> Anyways, it's a very, very cool song. Um, I'm going to mix this down and send it over to Ty. Um, hopefully you'll like it. And um, then um, I'll get him to just tweak the drums and do the bass and stuff. And we'll arrange the track somehow. These are just ideas at the moment. We're still kind of bouncing ideas around. And this is the process, you know, this is the process that we go through and the internet has made this really possible. You know, first time I actually worked on a project like this over the internet was actually in 2002, which was the first album that I recorded on, which was the George Lynch uh, tribute project. Uh, we'll play for Lynch. And, you know, the, we didn't have super fast broadband back then. We were sending MP3 files over. But I've been doing this for years and it's so cool that the technology is there for us to harness and, and use and utilize and uh, collaborate with people. Um, you know, Tyrone's over in um, Germany. I'm over here in um, little old England, which is a, you know, fair distance away. So we can't exactly kind of just hook up every couple of days and jam and stuff. But this makes it possible for us to do. So hope you enjoyed that um, and hope you follow the process because it is going to be cool and we're going to come up with, uh, I'm sure, a song which is going to sound awesome. We haven't even started to do solos yet. That's going to be fun. You know it is. <laughs> Alrighty, you guys, have a fantastic day. Any questions or comments, leave them in the comments box below. And um, remember, go and sub to Ty's channel sub to my channel as well if you haven't done so already give it a thumbs up and share and um follow the progress check out what we do yeah all right you guys have a fantastic day see you later